Please, please sit down. Thank you. Thank you. It was a little theatrical, and there's the continued human rights abuses. So today, I'm wondering. I've known Xi Jinping for a long time. Allegedly, by the time I left office as vice president, I had spent more time with Xi Jinping than any world leader had because President Obama and the Chinese President Hu decided we should get to know one another since it was inappropriate for the President of the United States to spend time with the Vice President of another country. But it was obvious he was going to become the new leader of China. So I spent hours upon hours with him alone with an interpreter, my interpreter and his, going into great detail. It's very, very straightforward. Doesn't have a Democratic with a small D bone in his body, but he's a smart, smart guy. He's one of the guys like Putin who thinks that autocracy is the wave of the future. Democracy can't function in an ever, an ever complex world. So when I was elected and he called to congratulate me, I think to the surprise of the China experts who were his people on the call as well as mine listening, we had a two-hour conversation for two hours. And we made several things clear to one another. I made it clear to him again, what I've told him in person on several occasions, that we're not looking for confrontation, although we know there will be steep, steep competition. Two, that we'll have strong competition, but we'll insist that China play by the international rules. Fair competition, fair practices, fair trade. Would you consider cutting off U.S. investment or Chinese access to uh, international payment? Americans value the notion of freedom. America values human rights. We don't always live up to our expectations, but it's a value system. We are founded on that principle. And as long as you and your country continues to so blatantly violate human rights, we are going to continue in an unrelenting way to call to the attention of the world and make it clear, make it clear what's happening. And he understood that. I made it clear that no American president, at least one did, but no American president ever backed down from speaking out of what's happening to the Uyghurs, what's happening in Hong Kong, what's happening in, 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 in country. That's who we are. The moment a president walks away from that, as the last one did, is the moment we begin to lose our legitimacy around the world. It's who we are. So I see stiff competition with China. China has an overall goal, and I don't criticize them for the goal, but they have an overall goal to become the leading country in the world, the wealthiest country in the world, and the most powerful country in the world. That's not going to happen on my watch, because the United States is going to continue to grow and expand. This will not get better in their countries right away.